in the late eighteen fifties there were a group of artists who would meet regularly at the quaint eatery called cafe michelangiolo in florence italy to discuss art individual goals and always politics these were idealistic young men they also began to look for a handle for a name and group identity it became the macchiaioli and centered around florence italy but who were the macchiaioli and what was the aim of these painters why were they so decidedly different and almost entirely devoted to plein air painting and so our story begins the artist telemaco signorini was believed to be the voice who brought his particular influences at the cafe after his trip to paris for the exposition universelle of 1855 the macchiaioli's group or machie is slang and the word machie literally means spots or patterns which was commonly used by italian artists and critics in the 19th century to describe the broken quality of a drawing or painting in particular due to a sketchy and spur-of-the-moment execution to garner breadth of its overall effect this gave an atmosphere to the work as the eye would see in nature and differed from the studio practice of more solid coloring and a flattened approach in many ways like their french brethren the macchiaioli went into the country to study to work and to seek new effects of light the sight of washing hung out on a line in which the white of the clothes was accentuated against the background of a gray wall or of green trees was sufficient to send them into ecstasies the themes of their pictures were subjects as trifling and common as a flock of sheep facing the sun a hill with the sun behind it the blot spot that an ox makes standing in the middle of a field or crossing the road at midday in july and so forth but trifling though these subjects seem to be they were always useful in that search after truth values and effects of light rich with pigment in its early years the new movement was ridiculed a hostile review published on november third of eighteen sixty two in the journal gazetta del popolo marks the first appearance in print of the term macchiaioli the term carried several connotations it mockingly implied that the artist's finished works were no more than sketches and recalled the phrase darsi alla macchia meaning something like hiding in the bushes or scrubland the artists did paint much of their work in these wild areas however this sense of the name also identified the artists with outlaws reflecting the traditionalists view that the new school of artists was working outside the rules of art according to the strict laws defining artistic expression at the time while some within the group consented to portrait work it was not their main area of interest they sought nature with a fervor and it became the end all of art it was an obsession that also dominated art throughout europe as painters were ever increasing their skills to get to the heart of the matter to explore nature in as many ways as possible with the new tools of technique that opened up new vistas at a rapid pace we have a humorous account that typifies the general passion plinio nomellini who lived on the pisan riviera far from the haunts of men expressed that his career has been promising though not been easy hunger and art were according to his own words two phantoms that ever danced before my eyes and since the two seemed inseparable i decided to put up with both now let's get acquainted with a few of the artists that make up this rebellious group of itinerants and keep in mind that this list continued as some within the group took on students we have the following list beginning with the most notable artists of this movement giuseppe abbati cristiano banti odoardo borrani vincenzo cabianca adriano ceccioni vito d'ancona serafino de tivoli giovanni fattori raffaello sernesi silvestro lega and telemaco signorini the group represents the first example of a self-determining troop of painters who revolutionized painting thanks to a technique essentially based on the investigation and representation of light however 
the key separating factor from the french impressionists as soroya rightly pointed out is that the main contribution of french impressionism was violet on the palette in actuality the macchiaioli painters were much more identifiable to corot or eugene boudin who preceded monet and the others the italians had a romance with the land and approached it through contrasts and silhouette as much as any other consideration not unlike degas who would not be considered a colorist as such though he was part of their group identity as youths with all the vigor of idealists with purpose and drive toward the love of truth as they saw it the theories they fought hard to make realities in each canvas comes the fact that individual choices separate the painters into a niche to define the personal direction comfortable to each talent as the spirit moves the son of an artist born in 1835 telemaco signorini was home taught and so never passed through the trite academic curriculum now one of the creeds of this brotherhood was that teaching is both useless and pernicious in his view hence they sought no pupils the fundamental basis of their creed within the macchiaioli was that each man must work out his individuality in his own way and study to accentuate his individuality rather than suppress it but as was mentioned earlier their ranks did in fact attract newcomers into the fold and some became the heir apparent and would go on to produce quite wonderful works so the cafe was a hot spot for painters and continued for some time afterward as we turn now to review some of the artworks by the group this is in no way anything more than a very brief look at the painters who worked diligently to make their mark and above all stay truthful to the world around them it was determined and declared to be the study of historical and rustic life with fresh eyes historical and rustic entirely defines the aims of these honest searchers for the picturesque if the word picturesque was not invented already it must have been created for the use and pleasure of the macchiaioli to study historical figures of past art was to prepare for the plein air picture of the new art they hoped to unveil that is to clothe the painted scene with the earthy realism they so clearly identified with as to the rustic figures and buildings they were the only avenues of newness which art outside of a caricature could well add to landscape painting the power of light and air they were to cross the brooks to take rapt dinner to the field to hurry away from a thunderstorm and generally to give interest to the scene as art called upon them to do but that these crusaders and these rebels were to be drawn from the living model of nature was a fact worth noting whatever may have been the degree of exactitude that painters imposed upon themselves artists in those days troubled the establishment with little regard in order to pave a new way their way telemaco signorini was also a passionate writer and art critic and was published in art journals his summation for his group that met at the cafe michelangiolo in florence to discuss art and politics reflects on their appeal almost all tuscans love their quiet nature sunny outlook their blue skies they did not regard difficulties they are simply clear narrators of that that they have observed they also know that imitating the different manifestations of an art born under another sky inspired by different social trends from different needs is to be subservient characters who lack the right judgment of understanding that by leaving their temperament they would become weak pale copiers absolute non-entities harmful to themselves and to those they began to imitate because imitations make the imitated boring and yes even laughable with the imitators tuscans almost never have boldness of color they do not seek effects from stark contrasts and they don't have dazzling brightness but not that they lack light the light that it gives to things a pleasant softness coming from a perfect fusion of tones but true conviction to nature and all this is in the tuscan sky and the macchiaioli who believed he would find an effect with strange attraction he would fall into absolute profundity 
by its natural loveliness tuscan artists don't fret they don't worry and they never let themselves be dazzled by the beauty before them for their art is the art of feeling truth and inner morality if for a short while it remains overshadowed by something new or amazing when the new will no longer be new tuscan art is back in popularity and the macchiaioli with their sweet poetry without ever having trumpeted great lofty ideas but gently rests into the soul of the enthusiast nothing but satisfaction and appreciation completes us and lastly we leave you with some final thoughts that telemaco signorini expressed so well by the smell of dust that is ephemeral courage it's an intoxication that comes from a thousand causes a kind of brutal madness awakened by a bestial instinct but the courage to fight against deprivation ridicule adversity and opposition is much greater in my opinion because it is the courage of all the hours of all the minutes yet who knows if today we even remember them all those difficulties to overcome with the light-heartedness of the joy now passed into a new tradition stamped in time we hope you enjoyed this look at the artists who met at the small quaint cafe michelangiolo who called themselves the macchiaioli painters they were the group that sought a new vision and they achieved it and with that we will see you next time with more exciting artists of great talent i almost forgot please remember to leave a like and thank you to our super subscribers so until next time it's bye for now